Hello, my fellow believers. It's Redemptor once again with another interesting video. As I told you on my previous videos, I am not a preacher, neither do I intend to be one in the future. On this channel, I do commentary videos commenting on different topics concerning Christianity and most importantly, the salvation by the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a channel where you get to hear what many preachers won't tell you the truth of the gospel. We are all ambassadors in Christ and our work is to share the truth of the gospel to the world and to the non-believers. Today we bring you a very interesting topic that has brought so much controversies in our churches over the years. I don't find it funny when some of these preachers take God's word for granted especially when it comes to the issue of tithing and offerings. Many preachers have made this a way of extorting money from their followers. It's so unfortunate that these followers will blindly, still blindly fall for such cheap traps of making others rich while they rot in poverty. Imagine giving everything you have to a man riding in big cars and jets, yet you are walking to the church without means of transport and two with an empty stomach. I can't imagine Bishop T.D. Jakes just called God his business partner. So he is in business with God while he should be preaching the word of God. These are some of the words I will hear and I'm so pissed off. How on earth will you call God your business partner? Guys, put your opinion on this on the comment section. See, God is my business partner and my giving to him is his cut. And if I rip off his cut, why should he bless me? Nobody wants to continue to do business with somebody who is dishonest. So I have an obligation to make sure that I remember God. The higher, it wasn't hard when it was low. My wife and I start, started tithing off of something you don't even have over here called welfare. It's what they give poor people. And it was a little bitty check comes from the government. And, and to, to give out of that wasn't much because we were broke anyway. And when you're broke anyway, faith comes easy. Come on, somebody. Let's be honest. Poor people, you have to live by faith. You got no choice but to live by faith. You, if you don't live by faith, you're going to starve to death. I couldn't live by the check. I had to live by faith. So when they said, believe God, I was willing to throw the whole check in there because none of it was enough anyway. So giving to God when I didn't have much didn't take as much faith as it did when I started getting these multi-million dollar movie deals and these multi-million dollar book deals and I started giving to God and, and the figures started coming in, six and seven figures. Then I thought, uh, 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 excuse me, Lord, uh. Uh, and, and the Lord settled it for me. He said, if that's too much to give to me, you keep the tithe and I'll take the 90. I said, no, Lord, it's not too much. I'll give it right now. And then I started giving above the tithe. And then I started giving on the salary I wanted to make. I started giving on deals that were about to evolve. I started giving on the level of the deal that was still in proxy. I started giving on that level so that God would owe me. Listening to Bishop T.D. Jacks, he makes giving appear as a bribe to God. Yes, it is true that God cares about man, and that is what matters most to him. But does that make God a business partner? Do we really have to bribe God for him to bless us? We simply have to follow what the Bible says, emulate Christ in our daily lives, and do God's will according to the instructions from the Bible. God loves us so much, whether rich or poor. God loves you just the way you are. Giving is good, but give according to the Bible and not what you think God wants. We shouldn't walk in our understanding, but with the understanding of God. Tithing and offering. Mm -hmm. Tithing, Abraham gave a tenth of all oh, his spoils, all spoils, meaning a tenth of his gross. That's right. And also, uh, you see what people fail to realize, 
they think tithing is just money. Right. Tithing is not just money. Amen. Tithing is is not only money, it's land. Land. Tide of the land. Tide of the land. Listen at this. In Leviticus chapter 27 and at verse 30. All right. And all the tithe of the land. All the because remember, everything you ever get is only God that give it to you. That's yeah. right. I don't care how rich you are, all the money you make. If God didn't give you strength, you couldn't make no money. Amen. No. So why you folk that do got money get so overwhelmed with it like you so prominent and so important? That's right. You drive a Bentley? Fine. I love Bentleys. Hmm. I don't have one, but I like them. But <laughs> only a Bentley can do is get you from point A to point B. That's mm -hmm. right. You drive a Rolls Royce? Fine. Mm -hmm. After you come out of that Bentley, come out of that Ferrari, come out of that Porsche, come out of that car, mm -hmm. you still got to repent. That's it. Still got to be baptized. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, still must seek the Holy Ghost. You see, the way holiness is set up by God, the rich man got to do the same thing the poor man oh, got to yeah. do. That's oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That way, no one can think they're better than the other. That's, That's right. right. Huh? That's right. The rich man got to come do the same thing the poor man has to do. Amen. Listen at this. And all the tithes of the land. All the tithes of the land. Whether of the seed of the land. Whether the seed of the land. Or of the fruit of the tree. Or the fruit of the tree. Is the Lord. Is whose? Is the Lord's. Why you think Ananias and Sapphire? God killed the husband and wife. That's right. Because they conspired to rob God. That's right. They had land, they sold it. Mm -hmm. And the book says they kept back part of the price, the price. Meaning they kept back part of the money. That's right. Peter told them, wasn't it thine own? Mm -hmm. You didn't have to lie. Wasn't it yours? That's right. It was your money. You didn't have to lie about it. That's right. And this is where people are in the book of Malachi, I believe. Chapter 3. Listen at Malachi chapter 3. And at verse 8. Listen. Will a man rob God? What is the question? Will a man rob God? What is the question? Will a man rob God? Will a man rob God, folk? Yes. Yet ye have robbed the me. The Lord say, yes, ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? And the people say, well, Lord, how did we rob you? In, what did the Lord say? In tithes, in tithes and offerings. You making all this money, you won't give God a tenth mm -hmm. of what you took in. Right. You won't give God an offering. An offering is not a designated amount. An offering is something free will. That's right. If you give God a million dollars, that ain't enough. That's right. Because he gave you life. Amen. Yeah. And life is more precious than money. That's Amen. Right. Huh? Amen. Oh, yeah. Some folk got thousands and millions of dollars. <laughs> and it hurt them to give a dollar. Amen. Mm. I love what Pastor Gino Jennings is saying. That you have nothing because all that you have belongs to God. Now that you have nothing without God's help, how will you say that God is your business partner? What do you have to transact with God? You're just a beggar living under God's mercy. It's God who has placed you on that level that you think you can be a God's partner. I pity the fact that Bishop T.D. Jakes didn't understand this before uttering such nonsense. God is for us all and that is why I love the words of Pastor Gino Jennings that no matter which car you drive or how rich you think you are, we are all equal before God. By the way, you are a fool to think you have anything to boast about just because you think you are rich. I pity you. Your riches are nothing if you don't follow the instructions from the Bible. I start giving on the money that I wanted to make. I start giving on a deal that hadn't closed yet. And that God had to open up the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing because he wasn't going to be in debt to me. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? And you start surrounding yourself because, see, I want you to understand, you got to get this money thing right so that you can get down to this man thing. Because, because money actually it's the poverty of heaven money is the poverty of heaven God thinks so little of money that he paved the streets with gold he walks on money he doesn't think nothing about money money is nothing money is nothing money is absolutely nothing it means absolutely nothing. Money means absolutely nothing to God. It is the poverty of heaven. It is the stuff God uses to pave streets that we can walk on. You know what was, you know what was important to God was people. And you know what's funny about us? We will run all over top of people trying to get some money. 
We don't care who we got to kill to get some money. We don't care who we have to destroy to get some money. God never did anything to get money, but he did everything to get man. The Bible said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. And if you're going to do business with God, you have to care what God cares about. What I'm trying to tell you is until you learn to care about people, God's not going to bless you. Until you learn to care about what God cares about, God's not going to do business with you. As long as you step over top of people and treat them like they don't matter, God is never going to pick you as a partner. When you love what God loves and hates what God hates, God will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. You don't have room enough to receive. I'm talking to somebody. Some of you, God just bless you because you got a good heart. God just bless you because you're a caring person. God just bless you because you you love what he loves and if you love what he loves God will open up the windows of heaven and bless you he will make people give to you he will make your enemies your footstool he will rise up cattle from a thousand hills he will send blessings from the north the south the east and the west when you care about what God cares about God will bless you in the face of your enemy no witch can hex you no curse can hold you down no demon can destroy you when you care about what God cares about. And the preacher got to use good judgment. If he's going to take all the tithes of the people, what about poor people in the church? What are they going to have if they're in need? That's right. People don't have no food. Mm. Buy them some food. Yeah. Amen. People don't have no clothing. Put some clothing on them. That's, That's right. right. That's true. People don't have no lights. Turn their lights on. Mm. That's right. Are you listening? That's, That's right. It. And that way you preachers to stop taking all the money for your greedy self. Amen. That's true. Amen. Teach it. Are you listening to the old man? That's yeah. right. You know, one thing I say about you people, you will complain about how these preachers are thieves. Mm -hmm. And yet you go to them every week. Every mm. week. Does that make sense? Um, you complain about these preachers, how you know they are thieves and robbers and they're not preaching nothing. Mm -hmm. Yet every week you're sitting right there boosting him on. That's right. Telling him, go ahead, go ahead, mom, go ahead. That's right. Don't complain about a thief if you won't do nothing about it. No. Mm -hmm. If right. any time you support a church that's not standing for the truth, mm -hmm. you are just Crazy. as wicked as the preacher himself. All that's right. right. Because you're strengthening the hands of evil doors. That's right. right. That's right. Thank God. That's right. Just as Pastor Gino Jennings has stated, nowadays giving has become all about money, which shouldn't be the case. Giving should be in every area of our lives. If you are a farmer, take your produce to the altar, the lands, the cattle, and anything that gives you money, as long as you didn't steal or kill to acquire or acquired it illegally, it's acceptable to God. I hope we've learned something today. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for always coming back to watch our videos. Thank you for your company and for your support. We don't take it for granted, guys. We really appreciate you. If it is your first time coming across our channel, kindly consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so you'll be notified once we upload a new video. Always remember to give our videos a thumbs up. I love you so much, guys. Bye-bye for now and see you on the next one. Shalom.